Welcome to another tutorial of LearnRub and this tutorial will be about salaries but what is a salary to begin with? Well salary is totally different. To begin with let me ignore cell so that we can go back to normal array. So what is a normal array? Normal array could be this which is 1, 4 and at 7, 10. You see it's a, it's a normal uh, it doesn't hurt anybody it's a normal array and uh, it's probably a row yes it's a row row vector so you could even do this one four seven ten it would be a column vector so also this is a character string you can also define something like this let me change the color this is getting really annoying uh, all right so let's see this is F F could be equal to let me put the square bracket B O M comma Jaguar these are totally random characters and you can put the square bracket here this is a string array this is a number as you can see here this is a salary right this is how we generate empty salaries and all of these all of these could be stored in a salary. Well, you'd say, well, how, how could you store a salary inside a salary? Well, that's the magic of it, right? You can store anything inside of a salary. I forgot to put something, actually, I did it. I did not forget, forget to put struct here, but we haven't learned it yet. So uh, you can also place structs in salaries. You can place anything in salary, but what does it do? Let me clean this up and tell you something really, really important that I believe is important. Since you're doing all this, you're actually making a trade-off. By storing all the information that an array could store, now you made a terrible mistake. What is that mistake? Since you have a salary now, you can no longer use the multiplication, addition, division, exponential, nothing those will be discarded because salaries could store anything so they will not work the same way they, that other things do. And if you have a salary like this, let's say this is my salary, my cell, this is my variable, and there are some contents in that, let's say, this is how you define it by the way, my cell, and you put a curl braces, curl braces is something like this. Okay, we're gonna show it. Okay, wow, that was, <laughs> wow, oh my god, this is, this is the best, best, best curl braces that I've ever drawn in my life. All right, so let's say this is A, this is a character. That's the worst A ever drawn. This is a number, 84. This is a array, one, two, one, two, four. All right, and you put the curl braces there. All right, that's fabulous, right? This is your cell array. So since this is not a normal array any longer, you cannot use certain operations. So what are they? You cannot use these guys. You cannot also do something like this. This will, you know what will sh what this will show you when you do this? It's going to show something different when you, let's say it's a three. It's going to say, this is a one by four matrix, all right? If you want to see the real contents of that thing, you need to, you need to write this, my cell, not parentheses anymore when you're indexing, curly braces and three. That way you can see it inside. All right, it will show you this whole thing like this. One, two, three, four. But if you want to like get a value from it, right? You want to get the, let's say two. How do you get it? You do it like this. Since you reach the array, you can just do it like this. Sorry, one, this is one. And this is two. Sorry, this is a row number. Row, this is column number, exactly. Column number. All right, that's fabulous. So let's go back to MATLAB and do some stuff, okay? This is my my cell. My cell is equal to, let's say, John. It's always John when it comes to strings. Uh, 987 cells, let's say, three. Uh, and last one is, sorry, that's supposed to be something, uh, an array. Okay, if we put the curly braces here, you place enter, you see the includes, right? This is John, this is 987 inside square brackets, which is one by one matrix, and this is one by 
six double doesn't show you what's inside. We can also use this function cell disk cell display. You enter your uh, thing and uh, it shows you what's inside. So you see for uh, for wow well, a lot of things. So this is John for one for two. So since this is a salary, it goes in and looks at every single salary that that is just created. This is cell four, and I mentioned before let me clear this up and call it back again okay so if you want to use if you want to reach the uh, ingredients of it or well whatever it's inside when you use parentheses this is what's going to happen you don't see anything right thus you need to use curly braces so you see one two three four five six what if I want to reach only four you do this you type it down and you use parentheses now it's one by four Great, we have reached four. Uh, I think that's all we could talk about. Salaries, salaries are really useful when you're using a file input and output. I guess, I thank you very much for telling me that. I guess either text scan or uh, what was the other one? I couldn't remember, I can't remember right now the name of that, but uh, it stores data into a salary. So that's why you need to know this curly race. It's really important other than that, there's not much to know about it. If there are some important functions, I'll make sure to post them on the website, learnerup.com. All right, thank you for watching. See you on another tutorial.